the importance of having a digital skill set in today's world of the internet and social media has become more critical than ever for employees and employers alike. In Nigeria, the demand for digital skills is at an all-time high. Africa 54's technology correspondent Paul Ndiho via Skype spoke to Omo Clark, founder and CEO Ibez, a Lagos-based digital products agency specializing in web and software application developments and training. Omo Clark, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You've been in the technology sector for a while. You do software development and a lot more. Let's start there. Basically, what I do is build software solutions, software products, you know. So I run a digital products agency. We say we build for ourselves, but not really. We build for our community. And then we build for businesses as well. Is uh, a software development uh, a big business in Nigeria? Software development in Nigeria is still, what I would say, in, in its infancy. You know, we're, we're just, we're, we're, we're not there yet if I call it that. Um, it is big, software is big business because obviously a lot of companies' businesses run on software solutions, you know. Um, so from that perspective, the development market is really, really huge, you know, put it that way. But do we build it ourselves then? So that's the other part of it. Uh, what kind of software do you build for your clients? Uh, do you even build the hardware to go along with that uh, software or it's just a uh, software development? We focus on software. So we don't touch hardware. Um, you know, too much. We can advise on it and consult. Um, for you know, I mean, there's a lot of people, a lot of businesses don't understand tech, so we can advise on that. But we build software solutions. So the kinds of things that we've typically built, we've built for different companies across industries. So we're not like focused on fintech or focus on something like that. We, we you know, we build across board. So we've built for. Um, you know, the first thing that came to my mind, health tech. You know, we build for hospitals dentists, you know, different sorts of applications to help them do their business better, help customers communicate, reach them better. We've built for education institutions, you know, we've built for, I mean, you name it, we've built for travel, for businesses in the travel industry, we've built for business NGOs, you know, we've built for charity organizations, all across, we've, we've done work for the government, with the government as well. Most businesses were affected by uh, uh, the coronavirus uh, pandemic. I'm just uh, curious, at what extent uh, was your business affected uh, by this uh, uh, global sh uh, shutdown and uh, the pandemic? From that perspective, in my business, we got a lot of work, you know, a lot of businesses wanting to get online, get websites, start selling online, doing all of that, we got that. But on the flip side of it, because of like infrastructural challenges we have in Nigeria, we were impacted. Yes, we, we saw a lot of work. I was busy throughout the lockdown working, doing a specific thing, i.e. building really web applications for people, helping them get online so they can work, so they can sell, reach their customers and all that. And doing training, you know, so we're, we're training people on digital skills, training all these businesses that um, never really used the internet before training them on digital marketing skills. But on the flip side, uh, our capacity was limited, you know, because I had staff that didn't have power to work from home. They didn't have the ability to work from home. So we could only take on so much work. Nigeria has uh, become sort of a go-to place uh, for uh, software development. Uh, all these uh, international uh, tech giants are uh, running to Nigeria, especially Lagos, uh, where you are. Uh, what yes. seems to attract uh, these international companies uh, to come to Lagos uh, to tap into the talent there? I think the fintech space in Nigeria is vibrant. You know, a lot of fintech companies like um, Flutterwave, you've heard of them, Pace, that they're doing so well. Um, so, and there's this huge talent pool, you know. Uh, we have a youth population in Nigeria, so many young people in Nigeria trying to do stuff. So I think that's an attractive market. Besides uh, being a software developer, you also created a company uh, that uh, brings young, talented uh, people together. Uh, speak more to that. In Nigeria, it's difficult to get um, handymen, you know, uh, competent ones to come and do stuff for you. And it was a general problem that affects Everybody in Nigeria, really, everybody has an artisan story. So what we do is we register tradespeople, people, I think somebody coined the phrase, that work in the informal sectors, often forgotten, often neglected, 
um, many reasons behind that. You can go and say, I'm looking for a plumber in Ikoyi, in Lagos, you know, to come and do stuff. And it shows you all the people that have registered and then you can come. So it's a huge ongoing stuff we're doing, but it's really to organize, digitize that market so that people can, you know what I mean? It's, it's a two things. So they can get jobs because they have problems getting work. And you, whoever is sitting in their homes, in their offices, can find somebody quickly. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. I do appreciate it. That was Africa 54's tech correspondent, Pondiho, speaking with Omo Clark, founder and CEO, Ibez, based in Lagos, Nigeria.